Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? They pass down their wealth and their knowledge. And the, the younger generation are no different than the older generation. The, these white people that walk around right now are no different than George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, uh, uh, Andrew Jackson. They're no different than their forefathers. They are exactly the same. And this is the problem with believing that racism can be taught. If you believe that racism is taught, that means you believe that racism can be untaught. That means you believe that we can teach white people not to be racist. God says something completely different. Read it again. Psalm chapter 8, 58, verse 3. The wicked are ex estranged from the womb. From, from where? From the womb. They're born like this, brother. This is what God says. You can't teach white people not to be not racist because they are born racist. You say, all oh, white, are you racist? What's, what's your name? Elaine? You're from Scotland. All right. Hey, listen, let's talk about you, Elaine. You should be talking about all white people. I'm asking you specifically. Are you racist? You don't think so? Well, how come it's not a definite yes or no? No, well, you wasn't sure at first. You try to defend white people when you're not even sure about your own self. So now, are you racist, yes or no, Elaine? No. How do you know you're not racist? You treat everybody the same. That's racist. You didn't know that, did you? It's racist to treat everybody the same. Do you believe everybody is in the same conditions? No, it's yes or no. Do you believe all people are in the same conditions? Do you believe all people are in the same condition? Yes or no, Elaine? Be honest now. No. So if we're not all in the same condition, how could you treat us all the same? That doesn't add up. How can you treat a Jewish person the same as a Nazi? Would you ever treat a Jewish person the same as a Nazi? You struggle with that, Elaine. Hold up. Do they have Nazis in Scotland? Oh yeah, you said, oh yeah, like you know a couple of them. Come a little close, I can't hear you, like. You just had an election. Ah, okay, so now, let's go back to you, because I know you kind of skipping around the question. What's the proof that you're not racist? What's the proof that you are not a racist? How do you do that? You say your work. So what do you do in your work that you stand against discrimination? And what do you do in your work that you're fighting against? You're promoting the right of what? Now, Elaine, it sounds like you're just following the law. You know, that's the law, right? Equal opportunity. That's a law. It sounds like all you're doing is following what the government says to do. The government, by law, says you can't discriminate. You have to treat everybody the same. So it sounds like you're not doing anything outside of what you're supposed to do. I'm asking you, how are you, as a person, fighting against racism? How are you not racist? You care. You say you care. Now, if I ask you to prove you care, are you willing to show you care? I know how. I can show you how God says you can prove you care. And we're gonna find out if you truly care or not. You ready? Give me Isaiah 49 and 13. Let's see if you truly care. Now you're not even from here. Are you aware of what has happened to black people in America? 
You've seen them signs, right? Just do me a favor, Lane. Walk right over here and take a look at both of these signs real fast. Just look, just look at it real quick before we read this. Did you look at both of them? Hold on, Elaine. Did you? You're about to make it about you. You're about to make it about yourself. Let's go down. Look at both of these signs real fast. This one and that one. That one right there too, Elaine. On the corner. That one, yeah, take a look at it. You see it. Children lynch. Our children. For no reason. No reason at all. What have black people done to white people to warrant that kind of treatment? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. If it's a human thing, what have we done to white people to warrant that treatment then? You said we've... You said we've done what? I'm not asking about them, I'm asking what have black people done to white people for the lynchings? That's what you have to say. Tell the truth, this is, I know it's hard. Nothing. Black people did absolutely nothing to white people to deserve us being hung from trees, to have our children cut out of our women's stomachs and fed to alligators, to have our women and our men buck broken. We've done nothing to white people to deserve that. And you gotta be honest about that. So, so now hold on. So now, now hold on. You just said it was a human thing. It can't be a human thing if we've never done that to white people. Do you agree? You're, you said you're a psychiatrist. Huh? What do you mean? Ah, so now you believe the problem is white people. You just said it. You said, so it's not young white people. How old was the person that shot Donald Trump? The water, sir. How old was the how old was the white man that shot Donald Trump? Hey, young. But you just said old. So let's not try to separate like we just what I was just talking about earlier. It has nothing to do with the old generation and the young. The old and the young do the same thing. It's just that the old get too old. You get old, you can't do what you used to do. You understand? You you can't go out, you ain't got the strength to hang up a nigga the way you used to. You can't pull that rope like you used to in your 20s, when you were 60 and 70. But that's why you have children and grandchildren now to take on what you used to do. Do you agree that white people are the problem? Mostly. What's the other mostly? 90%. What's the 10% before we give you a hand? You don't know. It, listen, you just don't want to say y'all the problem. I know you're trying to leave some lead way for your people. I understand. Either your people are the problem, or you got to tell me who is the problem. Because the Scottish, no, you say you're Scottish, right? The Scottish are one of the people of Esau. Your forefather is Esau. So it doesn't matter what nation, you could be French, Portuguese, English, Dutch, German. You understand? It doesn't matter what nation you're divided by. You all still come from the same forefather. That's still your brothers and sisters. And don't act like that's not true because white people, they understand that when it's time to come up against black people and Hispanics, Native Americans. They understand having pride in being white and come up against us. Now, those are your people. Don't separate yourself from your people now. Those are your people. And now I'm gonna to read to show you, you said you care. That's how you're not racist. I'm gonna see if you really care. Read what you got. This is Isaiah chapter 49, verse 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers. What the Bible's talking about is what black people, Hispanics, and Native Americans have done for your people. Are you aware of what the Scottish did when they came to America? Now tell me. Give her a hand. So you are familiar with history. The Scottish and the Irish were the main ones that were the whippers, the overseers. You gotta remember, the rich white people that were here, they, those were what you call Anglican, English, uh, 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 British, the water, British. They had money. When the Scottish, Scottish and Irish came over here, they were poor white people. They were what you would call white trash today. That's, what, that's not what I'm calling them. That's what your own white people call you. 
is historically documented. And so the British, they own the plantation, but they will hire your forefathers to do all the dirty work, to do all the whipping, all the rape, all the buck breaking and the lynching. It was the Scottish and the Irish. And as the, the, if the country switched over and the Emancipation Proclamation was signed, it was those same Scottish and Irish that got what jobs? Police officers. Police officers. The former slave catchers simply just went and now became the police officers. And they continued that same tradition all the way up until now. That's why they play bagpipes when the police officer dies. That's Irish and Scottish culture. That's how entrenched the Scottish and Irish have been in the police culture, because they were the slave catchers. They were the, the ones carrying out all the dirty work. So you're familiar with what your people have done to black people. You understand, Key Reed? And their queens, thy nice, thy nursing mother. Talking about how we raised your children and we took care of white people. You understand, we were your slaves and your servants and we didn't turn on you. We served your God and we loved you and took care of you. That's history. It's documented. That's Uncle Tom's cabin. Keep reading. They shall bow down to thee. Now it's telling you what the people who we took care of is telling you now what you should do to show you care. Read it again. What? They shall bow down to thee. That's the first step. So Elaine, you said you care. And you said, I don't know how to prove that. And I told you, I can show you what God says you can do to prove that. God just said, this is what you should do, Elaine. Read it one more time. They shall bow down to thee with their face to the earth. Are you willing to bow down to the children of slaves? You being the children, the, the daughter, the child of slave masters, are you willing to bow down in front of the children of the slaves to prove that you really care? Are you willing to do that? How long you need to think about it? You say you should. So what's stopping you? You think you're better than black people? Because we bow down to white people. So you say we you treat people all the same. If we bow down to you, you should bow down to us. That's treating everybody the same. And that's what God said. That's fair. Don't you agree? So what's stopping you? We, we waiting. I want to see if you care. Now you just, you, your whole argument when you first came up is not all white people are bad. You remember that, right? I remember. So now here's your chance to either prove you right or me right. And when I say me, this is what God said. Either you're going to prove, you're going to see. So now are you willing to bow down like the Bible says? Read it again. Let her know. These are not our words. Read it again. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth. Are you willing to do that? Right here, right now. Right here, right now. You didn't think about it. This is how I know that you're not really against racism. Because for you just to get down right here and bow down takes nothing from you. How do we know now when it's time for you to actually fight against white supremacy, you're not going to do it? when it requires you to now make a decision and to spend your money or put your position in jeopardy, you can't do it because you can't even simply command your body to bow down. Say it again. That's what the Bible says, faith without works is dead. So show me your works. Show me the action, Elaine. Or, and listen, we don't, I, I'm a, Give her a hand, give her a hand. What you just said is the whole point. What you feel right now is our reality. You don't think we bow down to white people? Just because we don't literally bow down, our spirit, we have to bow down our spirit to make it in America. You, ever, you know what code switching is, Elaine? Code switching, you ever heard that phrase before? Code switching, code, I'll explain. Code switching is where blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans change how they talk in order to get a job, in order to save their life. We are constantly bowing down to white people in various ways. That's our reality. What you feel right now, this fraction of a moment, is what we all grew up feeling. Every day, many of us were taught 
to make you comfortable. And that's why, you see how this brother's right here with you? This is a good brother, you understand? He has compassion. He's right here, and you don't even pay attention, you don't even realize it. He's here because he's trying to rub off some comfort to let you know you're not here by yourself. That's who we are as a people. We are people that will love and show compassion and empathy, even when the people who don't deserve it get it. So now, what you just said, what you feel right now is what we feel. Why are you not able to show some reciprocation, some reciprocity? Read it again. Listen, listen I'm gonna give you one more chance, Elaine. We ain't gonna wait all day. I, I didn't think you was gonna do it to begin with, me personally. But I always like to give white people a chance that believe they're not all white people are bad. I like to give you a chance to prove that. Let's read it again. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth. Here's your moment to prove it in front of all of us and all those that's watching online in front of God. You understand? In front of the angels and in front of Christ. Here's your chance. Now we ain't gonna wait too long, you understand, Elaine. Either you're gonna bow or you're not. I see you got that brace on your leg. You can take you take one down like the knights in Scotland. Take a knee down. You understand? Right. Show us that 10% you was talking about. I know it's hard. You can't do it. I know. And this is why. This is why you can't do it. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 58, verse 3. The wicked are a strange. From the womb, they go astray as soon as they are born. As soon they are born. Now you've never owned a slave, right? Let me ask. Let me ask. Let me not assume. Have you ever owned a slave? I don't know what y'all do in Scotland. I've never been. Y'all got slaves over there still? Do y'all have slaves in Scotland still? No. Have you ever owned a slave? Have you ever killed a black person? You've never done any of those things to black people. Yet and still. You're no different than your forefathers. And you just proved it. I gave you a chance to separate yourself from the evil you've done. And you can't even separate. You tried to separate yourself through words. And now that I'm calling you to action to prove it, we see that your words were just lies. This is what the Bible says. This is why you can't do it. Speaking lies. Speaking what? Speaking lies. Speaking what? Speaking lies. You just said not all white people are bad. You just spoke a lie. You just spoke a lie, and you proved that lie. Oh, listen, you go away and do whatever you want. I, listen, no sweat. Just know that you're no different than your forefathers, Elaine. You understand? So don't, uh, don't run, we'll call back. Elaine. Uh, yeah, yeah, she, 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 she's in deep thought. You understand? She in deep thought. She should think about it. A lot of you white people, you think you're so tolerant and liberal and not racist. You're no different than your forefathers. Right. You're worse than your forefathers. Right. Because you put on a front. At least George Washington had the, the cojones to say, I hate niggas and I own slaves. Right. You devils now, you're so cowardly, you can't even tell the truth. We all know you hate black people. We know. You don't think black people know that? You don't think Hispanics and Native Americans see what you type online in the comforts of your homes and trailers? We know you hate us, but whenever it's time for you to be a, a man or an honest woman, you can't admit to it in person. That's why the Bible says, never trust thine enemy. We should never trust you. Because if black people, if we don't like you, we'll tell you. We'll tell you. Latinos don't like you, they'll tell you. The Native Americans called you pale face with a forked tongue. He told it to your face because we're honest. You're not an honest people. You are born speaking lies. You're born being the devil. And if you're black and spend the name of now, Eric, you just seen that, right? Come on, talk to me now. What's, come on, man. Look like you're a little let down. You're a little hurt. <laughs>
with a different